What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at a Master Collections knife. This is the MCA023. Nice little Indian tribal pattern on it. Damascus coated blade. So let's dive into it. Let's see what this thing's got. Okay, so right off the bat, I'll go ahead and tell y'all I smashed my finger. So if you see it in the close-up camera, don't be freaked out and be like, what in the world is that? But let's dive into it. Let's see what this thing's got right here. So right off the bat, let me show y'all this. It's got a nice tribal pattern on it right here. You know, this looks like wood, but it's actually not. This is all plastic, but it does have that wood feel due to the paint that they had put over this plastic. But your bolsters right here are just plastic. But it's still... Like I said, it's got a good wood feel to it right here. Like, you know, it's, it's believable on this side. Now, this side, of course, you're definitely going to know that it's plastic. Assisted trigger right there. No thumb studs on it at all. Now, you could pull it out, you know, like a folder, but there's no nail nick or anything like that. So, this is just a simple assisted opening knife that you need to use with that trigger right there. Right back here, you do have just a little pleather you know the fake leather lanyard back here with three little beads which I mean you could remove it and add something a little bit better to that but it doesn't look like it's gonna get caught in that blade you know when you close so that's a good thing about it now let's go ahead let's check out this trigger on this knife so got it right here you know it's actually a large trigger on it boom hmm you know it threw it up pretty good yeah not too bad pretty fast little knife right here so as you can see the Damascus coating right there gives it I guess that's a leaf like a tribal leaf that they're trying to go for right there but now it's not a real Damascus blade but it is coated and it's got those groove patterns in it right there trailing point blade on it large belly down here but actually, like the look of this. This is what it looks like fully open right there. I'm not sure if my close-up camera is getting it like I want to. Yeah, about right there, I think is what it is. Standard liner lock right there in the middle. Simple close. And then, boom. So, that's kind of the details on it, guys. What I want to do, there's no pocket clip on it, so it's really no use to me showing what this thing looks like in the pocket. But I do want to go get the weight and measurements of this thing and at least go see how sharp this blade is because it doesn't seem to be too sharp. So I tell you what, since we're talking about it, well, with it being a trailing point, that tip should at least be halfway decent. So let's go see how sharp this knife really is. All right, for a show knife blade, let's at least see what this thing's got. So right here with the downward cut had a little trouble catching and as you can see there are a few rips in it let's try it at an angle and see what this thing's got so here yeah it's definitely gonna need some sharpening on it but with it being a trailing point blade like this let's check out the tip on it so yeah, it's actually not too bad. Not a whole lot of push into it. But, as you can see with these tears, or these rips rather, the blade or the belly of it's definitely going to need to be sharp, but the tip on it is really good. Okay, yeah. It's definitely going to be more of a show knife. And hey, look at that. I said it wasn't going to get stuck. As I was talking to you, I guess I had this kind of pulled up. And it had folded over a little bit, so when I went to open it, was catching let me show you that right down here so it was catching right here on now definitely freak accident nothing more about it. i'd pull the whole thing off if i was in a hurry you know and had to use it but just be careful about this back here so again just smooth liner lock on it super fast knife but the blade definitely could be sharper i mean you could throw it on stone really sharpen this thing up but it's definitely going to be more of a show knife a nice little tribal knife right here but, I tell you what, since it is a plastic handle, let's go see how much this thing weighs. Alright, let's see what we got on the measurements of this thing. Closed, it's going to be five and a quarter inch. So, 
that's actually going to be, man, it's going to be a lot of knife in your pocket, you know, without that belt clip on there. Let's see what the thickness is. Yeah, it's going to be a half inch thick, and then the width on it right here with this blade out, it's going to be one and a quarter inch. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of knife in your pocket, but I don't see it being an everyday carry. However, you still could do it. Let's see, the total length is going to be eight and a quarter inch. And then your actual belly, where the belly stops right down here, is going to be three and a quarter inch as well. Counting this somewhat of a choil type thing down here is three and a half inches, but really your sharpness is going to end about three and a quarter. I don't know, guys. This is, uh, I mean, it's good size to it, but I don't see this being an everyday carry type knife. Let's go ahead and get the weight on it real quick. So, 5.2, it is a little bit on the heavier side. Even adding that takes it on up. So you could actually round that up to 5.3 ounces for this knife. So, you know, it is a little bit on the heavy side, not much over it. But guys, I, I mean, the knife itself is awesome. The weight measurements, but if you're looking for an everyday carry, it might not be the best option. You know, overall, it's not a terrible knife. You know, it. The look of it is really what gets it. Let me give you another close-up on this thing. The look on it is going to be the way to go. I mean, if you really look at this pattern that they have etched out in here, the leaf Damascus coating gives it a great look. And they did really well with this travel pattern. So for one of these cheaper little knives like this, it's actually not terrible at all. So... When I say not terrible at all, I mean for the price, of course. Definitely going to want to sharpen that blade up. But, you know, it's a great looking knife. So guys, hope the review helped. If you're thinking about getting it, <clears throat> if it did, let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and check out our new giveaway that we're doing every single Friday. So stay tuned for that. And guys, I'll see y'all in the next one.